Hey guys, Cyberdyne here. In today's video I'm going to be trying out three of the BYS palettes. These three. So we've got the Oh My I'm Blushing blush palette. The Life is Better Bronzed palette. and the Glow Baby Glow palette. So each of these palettes comes with eight shades in them. I don't often bronze necessarily. I like to use a cool colored contour and that's about it. I'm not really about the bronze life, but I figured I would give this a go. So each of these was $9.95 from Cosmetics Plus. So I think we will start with the Life's Better Bronzed Palette. So of these eight shades, there are three which are just a matte shade. So there's this top sort of pretty cool looking brown tone. This one here and this one here are all matte and the rest are shimmery. So I'm kind of curious to see what that's all about because normally like bronzer you don't want it to be super glittery because then the edges of your face are just all shiny and maybe that's what you want but mostly it's not. So I'm going to swatch sort of around and then the middle shade last. So you can kind of see them there. So the shimmers, like they do have quite a lot of shimmer in them. And the middle shade was kind of a very crumbly kind of texture almost a cream but not quite. It's a very strange feeling one but it is quite a nice colour. So judging by the swatches I would say for me I would happily use either this top shade or this matte to contour with. They're both pretty neutral looking browns. So I think I will start with the top shade. I'm just going to use like a little, well, it's not little, sort of a big angled brush. I'm just going to tap into that and I'm just going to apply that just under my cheekbone. And I'm just going to lightly stipple it on. And that is a very intense color. So. I'm not going to just start blending it out. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush to blend that out a bit because that was a lot more pigment than I was anticipating, to be honest. I feel like in the last few years, BYS has really improved their quality. They've been around for years and years. And when I was a kid, they were definitely sort of your cheap store makeup good for kids um not necessarily the best quality but they have really improved with their quality in the last few years i actually always use not always but i have one of their highlighting palettes which i love which is which is this one here it has like rainbow highlights in it and they're all really nice and I do really enjoy using them. So I'm hoping that this highlighter palette will be like that. And so that's just a couple of little taps into that one at the top and then like blend it out quite a lot with that big brush just so it's not two brown stripes on my face because I really not 
trying to achieve that kind of look. I haven't picked up any more, I'm just blending over going into my temples a bit just to give a bit more around. So I'm going to go into this one down here and just try that under my jaw a little. I'm just going to tap in very lightly because it, if it's as intense as the other one then I don't want just a drop shadow under my chin. So I would say this light shade here and this lighter shade here are very shiny. They are basically highlighters. I don't think you could really bronze with them unless, no, not even if you are white, like as pale as paper. They're not really bronzing shades. They're very cool toned colors. This one. This one here has sort of like almost a rose gold kind of effect to it. Like it's just a little bit pinkish. So definitely not a bronzer. The other shades, like I would never use this shade here. It is a very dark bronze color. That's this one here, which you can see on me is very dark. Um, if the texture of this middle one wasn't so weird, I think I would possibly use it. But I'm not really willing to try because that top color is pretty light. But when I applied it, it came out very dark on me. So, not too sure. Um, and yeah, this one down here, which is the other matte that I didn't use, is quite a bronze color. So if I did want to add that bronzy feel, I could definitely use that. This one over here I think would be a nice eyeshadow for a bronzy look and yeah the two are very much highlighters. These two even though they look shimmery in the pan they're not too shimmery when they're on the skin so they could probably go either way. So I think we're going to move on to the Oh My I'm Blushing palette now because I'm pretty happy with like how much contour I have pretty much. I don't want to go overboard. I might just very lightly tap in and just pop a little bit under the tip of my nose and under my chin. So in the Oh My I'm Blushing palette, got the same layout, eight colors. And in this one, there are only two matte shades, this top pink and this orange over here. The rest are shimmery. And there's a very yellow gold, sort of a almost bronzy tone. A very like interesting kind of coral almost, maybe. Like a deep mauve almost. A lighter mauve kind of one and like a shimmery pink. So I'm just going to swatch them in the same order again. Those are the blush shades. I do actually really like this dark one. It's actually quite a nice colour, as is the one next to it. They're sort of like a berry kind of tone. And the middle shade came out a bit more rose gold than what I thought it would have, judging by the pans. So I think that I might go with the two pink shades. So I'm gonna, mm, I'm not gonna use a shimmery blush actually, because I do still have the highlighter palette. So I'm gonna go in with that top pink. And I'm just gonna, and I'm just going to press that onto my cheeks. I did dab it off a bit on my hand before I applied it, just so that I didn't end up with like a splotch of pink on my cheeks and I'm gonna go kind of heavy-handed with the blush because I don't know I've been enjoying the sort of blushy look 
lately. I really want to get the Likely Makeup blush palettes. I want to get both the Clown and the Fairy blushes. I think they would be so fun, especially the Fairy blush kit because I love turquoise. It's one of my favorite colors and I think just being able to add some of that tone to my face would be fun. It's gonna pop a bit on my chin as well. So these aren't as crazy pigmented as that, at least that first contour shade was. So that is nice because it means, yeah, you don't end up looking like you're from the 80s with a hot pink stripe down your cheek. So I think this is a pretty light toned palette as is the bronzer one, like there weren't many darker shades. There was that really dark bronze in the bronze, but it was very shiny. So I don't know if a darker skin tone would wear that as a bronzer. And I don't know if many darker skin tones would be able to wear this. It is a light wash of color, but there's only those two mattes. So if you don't like shiny blush, then it's not gonna really work out. But I do really like this color and I'm very keen to try it at some point. The main reason I'm not doing it today is because I have a highlighter to try still, but also I plan on doing my eyes green and I feel like it's just a little bit too almost on the red spectrum and I'm gonna start looking Christmassy and it is 2020, it is not Christmas anymore and I don't, I don't wanna look like Christmas right now. So the final palette is the Glow Baby Glow. And these are all very light as well. Like this is pretty much white, like a white gold. This purple does look a bit deeper, like these Four look like they're probably going to be too deep for me. Um, so does this one, to be honest. So, so far I think I've got maybe three that I could wear, but we'll see how the swatches go because maybe they're not that dark after all. I don't think any of those stained my arm of those blushes, which is really good. So these are the highlighter swatches. They're kind of hard to see because my lighting is terrible. Sorry. Also, this is sort of my first time trying to do swatches. So, nice. <laughs> so yes, these, pretty much all of them kind of look like they're gonna be too dark except for the white and the white gold. But I think I could possibly make them work with a light hand. I really like this shade of purple. It's a nice cool toned purple, like it's almost blue. And it is very nice. Um, ooh, that is a hard decision to make. I think I'm gonna go with this one down here, which is kind of a rose goldy kind of shade, just because the white is very white, the yellow is very yellow. And like I said, I plan on doing green eyes, so I guess that kind of feels like the safest option. I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques Point S brush. I'm just going to lightly tap into that and just apply it sort of in a C around my eye, starting on my cheekbone. So it is a nice sort of healthy glow kind of shine. It's not like blinding, although that is also the shade that I picked. Something like a rose gold probably isn't going to, you know, knock you out of the park as much as a white will, which 
is good because like I said I don't want to go completely crazy. I'm also going to apply that to my nose, my cupid's bow. So that is the three face palettes from BYS all tried out. I do really like the contour shade that I used. It's really nice to find a light brown contour that is in a cooler shade because most contours and most bronzers when I apply them to my face are just straight up orange so it is nice that that didn't happen. I think the blush shade was quite soft. I probably could have gone in a bit heavier handed but with the eye look that I plan on doing for the rest of my day I didn't want to go nuts with the pinks. Um, and the highlighter palette is beautiful, very shiny, except for one of them. Like in my swatches, I would say this pink, what was it? Yeah, this pink here didn't really come out as sort of shiny as the rest, but maybe that was just my application. I don't know if I would use that as a highlighter on myself anyway. It would probably be more of a blush topper to give me more glow. But I really liked that rose gold shade. It's very flattering on my skin tone. I was worried I wouldn't be able to wear it, but I'm glad that I can. So I think for $9.95 each, these were definitely worth it. Like that's Australian dollars. So what, like six, seven dollars US. Not that I know if you can get it anywhere else. I know that they're pretty common in Australia. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.